I spent four months in Devonport, and when I think of the place, I think of amazing sunrises, great scenery, and religion. Religion everywhere. But thankfully, there's more. There's an amazing video store filled with controversial oddities like 120 Days of Sodom and Caligula. I would really love to know who else besides me was renting those. The thing most people come to Devonport for, though, is the thing that takes you out of town. The spirit of Tasmania crosses the sea to Melbourne every day. Besides the ferry, there's an amazing antique store that kept me occupied for hours. <laughs> and, since we are in Australia, the best distraction of all. A place to get all the beer and wine you can fill your car with. Well, isn't that charming? The night falls when you see a different side of Devonport. A mullet man finishes his DIY, jumps on his lawnmower and goes down to get some food. The frying machines go into overdrive, the neon signs get switched on, and the place starts to look like a fast food Vegas. It's really strange to me that Australia's garden state seems completely content shipping the fresh produce off the mainland and are, for the most part, content with fast food. I may not have gone to Devonport by choice, but I'm glad I ended up there. It's a relaxed place, close to some amazing natural resources. It's an amazing place for the serious cyclist, fisher, hiker or climber. I would go back in a heartbeat. <laughs>